You can make yours be obsessed with you when you understand this one thing. You are the prize. When you have a self-concept, when you have a positive perception of yourself, perception of a queen, where nobody's opinions change how you see yourself, that's when people start respecting you and your SB can't get enough of you. Because the truth of the matter is, is that the reality that we see is, is a reflection of our inner world, subconscious world, and our deepest relationship with the world as well as ourselves. Something that you may reject subconsciously about yourself will experience it in behaviors of other people in relation to you. You will see the way people act and when their behavior changes means that you need to check in with your self-image because self-image creates your reality. Change your self-concept, how you see yourself and remain in that assumption. Not to decide now and then forget about your self-concept an hour later. Neville Goddard calls it an old man. Don't return to an old you, pretty much. Remain in the assumption even when the facts deny it the world will reflect it back to you slowly but surely but you should persist the thing is that your relationship with yourself the way you talk to yourself is what creates your reality the habitual thoughts forget about the logical mind that tells you oh yeah i'm done i'm, I'm changing my life no not that it's not going to change anything you need to go deeper what is stopping me? What are the thoughts, habitual thoughts, that I'm neglecting? They're just so natural at this point that I'm not even noticing them. Start with those. Those are the motherfuckers. That's how you start uh, shadow work. Some people have multiple voices. And by the way, looking at human design, you can see how many voices you have. So one will be like of higher self saying you can do it, praising you. The other voice would be the one that argues with you and judges you all the time. The third voice would be like very critical of everyone around you. The other voice was what? Probably mother and then you turn into father's voice. All of these voices are literally from childhood. What we heard growing up, we internalized. Subconsciously, we were not aware. We could not think logically. We were just consuming, right? Getting programmed, absorbing our environments until seven years old. And all those voices, we think that they are us. And we're battling with ourselves. We think we're the problem, but, but we are not. It's just the voice. Start with a voice. Challenge it. Your reality will shift dramatically. To start with your self-image. And I want you to be aware of your self-image no matter what's going on in your life. Can you just like constantly have this inner awareness of who you're being and, and what version of you you're acting from? This will be a game changer. Follow for more.